Anzac Day happens on the April of 25th every year to celebrate Australian and New Zealand troops who fought in the First World War. The troops landed on Gallipoli on the 25th of April in 1915, meeting a strong resistance from the Turkish defenders. It quickly became a stalemate and after eight months, the troops were evacuated. By then, Australia had already suffered a hefty loss during the war and 25th of April soon became a day which is remembered for those who sacrificed their lives in the war. Built in 2015, the Anzac Walk, as you can see here, is a major memorial in Newcastle. It's our 100th anniversary commemorate the troops who went to Gallipoli in 1915. The major part of this war walk, which is six kilometres long, is our steel toilets of the soldiers who served in the war, from the Hunter and Newcastle. And as you can see, all these names are engraved. This is the legacy tree at Super Park, which was planted to honour the soldiers. It has traces from Lone Pine in Gallipoli. There is a dawn service in most towns and cities that happens as early as 4.30 in the morning and varying formats can happen, but the following ritual is believed to be the main one. Assembly, Ruger calls, Two minute silence, a hymn, short address, flow of tributes, second hymn, and finishing with a bugle call. Later in the day, there is an Anzac Day march. Traditionally, it was for veterans who marched through public honour, lost friends, and expressed their comradeship. Later years, it was welcome to have family and relatives to march for their long lost relatives, which can include young and old. They do the Anzac traditions of Anzac Dawn and Memorial where they bring our families and friends to pay their respects uh, on the 25th of April every year. Thank you for watching. The flame will never run out. Let's forget and we will.